Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I've recently been showing you how to use different workflows with different applications that work externally from Studio One. We've looked at Vocaline, and we've looked at RX, and I want to show you a workflow for using SyncroArts Revoice Pro 3. It's like Vocaline on steroids, basically. It's their kind of flagship product, and it does far more than Vocaline, and some very cool tricks, including uh, doubling and tuning and all sorts of stuff. So it's well worth checking out the demo. So I want to show you a workflow for having this all work in a nice round trip. So a couple of things you want to do. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you've installed the latest version of Revoice Pro. And if you go then in Instruments Revoice Pro, there's a VST3 plugin called Revoice Pro Monitor. Now what that allows you to do is if we now click in Revoice Pro here on the right in this window and turn that on it now means as I play the water. this when we've actually got something in there it will start to synchronize and play back the audio so the next thing I want to do is I want to go to effects now I want to make sure I've got my inspector open and also I've got event effects open here I go to effects and I go to Revoice Pro link and I drag that in on the piece of audio is here it's going to work with so I press capture there so that's going to go to track one and if you drop these down here audio one audio two audio three and actually you could actually name those something else you could put you could put like guide and you could put down here double there and as you see they're now named nicely across now I need to get the audio from here into there now, I've done some tests and you can do basically offline render, but there seems to be some issue with this with a clock because the length of the audio isn't matched when you try and get it back across. So I'm doing it in real time, and I'll have a chat with the guys who are incredibly responsive over at SyncroArts and see if they can figure out why that's happening. So the next thing I do as well is I make sure I've got my marker track open. I have my start marker, and I've got a second marker I've dropped there. You can use the plus or minus, so you can use the keyboard shortcut to do that. Then I right mouse click on that and I go stop at marker. So basically it means I'm going to capture in real time. If it's a really long piece of audio, three minutes, I could go off and make coffee and come back and know that it's copied exactly the right length of audio across to uh, Revoice Pro. So and then all I do, once all that's set up, is I press play. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. And I think of all the things that you're doing And in my head I paint a picture And it's captured it, and there it is on the timeline. Now if I play this now... Well sometimes I go out by myself It's synced up with the original. And I look across the water There's the new one. There's the old one. And I think of all... You have to make sure that you have this little jack switched on for, for, for revoice monitor to work there. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So that's now done. So now I can actually mute the original track and just work in here with the timeline playing and I think of all the thi in sync and do my stuff within revoice pro. So now I'm going to do this. I'm going to open this up a bit. I'm going to right mouse click new doubler, go okay, new process. Now, I'm not really going to show you how to use Revoice Pro. I'm just going to go through the whole process of creating a double. So I'm going to quickly create a stereo double of this track and fire that off. Things that you're doing, and in my head I'll paint a picture. So that's now played from in there, but I could play it from here. Anywhere. And I look across the water. Because of Revoice Pro Monitor. Now, the final thing is to get it back in. That's just as straightforward. Go track. Add stereo audio track or mono, depending on what you're working with. Come back to Revoice Pro. Make sure you're in the Revoice Pro window, because if you're not and you're in this window, you'll close that window. So come here, press Alt and Shift and hover and hold down, and you see that little wav appear, and I just come and drop that in. And now that's now in the timeline. Drop that there, and we have in place the, the dollar. Well, sometimes I go out by myself. And I look across the water. You can just process it how you like then. And I think of all the things that you're doing. And I'm 
there we go. It's as simple as that. Now, if the whole track was in there, you'd hear everything playing with it as well. But I've just got, as I say, just the vocal to give you an example of how it works. But that's it. As straightforward as that. It's a really nice workflow that the guys at Synchro Arts have come up with. And it means that now you have a lovely round trip between the Revoice Pro software and also with Studio One software and the door working together in unison. Lovely. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.